I'm Sally Northcutt. I work extensively with the uh, Charlet Association. Uh, Bill Bowman and I assist them as uh, consults to uh, learn details about their genetic evaluation, review that type of information, and provide consultation services along those lines. Uh, today, we had a great set of producers to uh, talk about uh, genomic prediction and how that's readily available in our seed stock industry, particularly in the Charlet breed in the terms of genomic enhanced EPDs. Uh, those selection tools are available. Uh, we have SIRE searches, online searches available on the Charlet website to access those tools and make that opportunity for genetic progress available to registered breeders. Uh, that said, we have commercial bull buyers interested in Charlet genetics that also use EPDs or expected progeny differences as selection tools. And what we have available now in terms of genomic resources, uh, those can be seamlessly incorporated into the Charlet EPDs, as well as the TSI or terminal sire index available through the breed. You know, we covered a lot of information today in terms of genetic prediction, EPDs, genomic enhanced EPDs, what's available to the registered Charlet breeder, as well as users of Charlet genetics. And so for more information, uh, you can reach me through um, the Charlet Association in terms of being their consultant. Uh, Bill Bowman and I both work extensively with that staff and leadership for the various sorts and um, additional tools that are online. You can go to the Charlet website, charletusa.com, to learn more about the national cattle evaluation that's available through the breed, uh, the various opportunities in terms of sire sorting. Uh, we also mentioned today the effectiveness of understanding breed average tables, uh, percentile tables that are very effective in terms of looking at uh, sire selection, non-parent selection, even on uh, current dams available that registered breeders might hone in on as well.